Hey guys, Gracie here. It appears I've gotten myself into another fine mess. My be. I don't know. I haven't learned the art of keeping my mouth shut. Mom told me, you know, Gracie, just because a thought comes into your head, it doesn't, doesn't mean that you have to let it roll around one time and fling out your mouth. Well... I'm thinking I might need to have a delay switch installed because I haven't learned how to keep my mouth shut. Yeah. So, you see, yesterday I told Hopi what I overheard Mom talking to somebody on the phone about. And, and I said, yeah, Mom said, Hopi, you got issues. Well, she didn't take too kindly to that. And so I thought, well, I'll just give it a little time. So I jumped up on the bed just now to see if maybe I could get her to play fight with me. But no, she still got her nose out of joint. So I said, you know, Hopi, you really do have issues. You know, first you smelled like a dirty sock for a really long time. And then Mom figured out it was because you were allergic to the grains and they were causing yeast to grow on your body and that's why you smell like a dirty sock. And she got that figured out and and then just recently you had to go to the vet and get rocks taken out of you. Yeah. I chose the wrong word. Yeah. I should have said stones. It was bladder stones. I knew that, but... For some reason, I said rocks, and now she's upset again. Well, then, I looked at her and I said, You are such a sensitive Sally. Really? You're going to get your feathers all ruffled over, over the choice of my words between stones and rocks? Really? Hmm, yeah, that wasn't probably the right thing to say, because then she reminded me. Gracie. We've had this discussion before. I am not a bird. I do not have feathers, and I cannot fly. I am not a bird. Yeah, I just keep digging that hole deeper and deeper, guys. I think I'll just go take a nap with Mama.